Hey guys, it's Sam, and today we're going to go beyond transposition. We're going to talk about prescription interpretation and analysis. So let's just jump right in. To start off, I do want to cover the basics of transposition. Because this is, this is foundational as a contact lens fitter, as an optician. This is something you need to be able to do in your sleep, right? Um, we all know that to work as a contact lens technician, you really need to be in minus cylinder form. And what we mean by that is the prescription, when you're viewing it, the cylinder component has to be have a negative value to it because we can also write in plus cylinder. And to do that, we would transpose. So the first step in transposition, you add your cylinder value to your sphere value. So negative two added to a negative two algebraically, you would get negative four. Next step is to drop your cylinder power down, but to change the sign. So this negative two becomes a plus two. Lastly, you rotate the axis 90 degrees. So a 180 axis, you wouldn't add 90 to that, right? Because that would be what, 270? And there is no axis 270. So you're gonna subtract 90 from it and you get axis 90. So what this is showing is the strength along the 180 axis is negative two, where the power along the 90 degree axis is a negative four. So, and to visualize this, the 180 axis is your horizontal axis. So it's saying that the power along the 180 is negative two, but this is not a spherical lens, otherwise the strength along all meridians would be negative two, but instead it's a spherocylindrical lens, so the power along the 90 or the vertical axis is negative four. All right, so negative four is the um, power along the up and down, the vertical 90, and then negative two along the 180. And then you have power in between, right, on all these different points on this cylindrical lens. So that's transposition. It's very straightforward. And a lot of times people when studying for the you know, NCLE, they kind of leave it at that. They know they have to uh, be able to put things in minus cylinder form, but they never go beyond that. And it really doesn't help them to work through the other questions that they may encounter on the test. So I wanna put that same prescription back up on the board. Negative two, negative two, axis 180. So we can see from this, first off, I wanna identify what type of prescription this is, right? So we know it's spherocylindrical, but we also know that the two major meridians, 180, and you have negative four at axis 90, right? So we have the greatest power along the 90 degree axis, which would be kind of like, as we've seen from other videos, you know, I use the illustration of a football. It's like a football laying on the ground where it's the steepest, your cornea would be the steepest in the vertical meridian. So I know this would be a with the rule astigmatism example, right? Because, and to really make this make sense, we're putting this um, minus powered lens in front of your football shaped eye, right? And so you want the most minus power, this negative four along the vertical, because the cornea is the steepest, it has the most plus power. So it's neutralizing that out, if that makes any sense. So we see that it's a, um, with the rule of stigmatism, when we transpose, we see we have a minus cylinder in both the major, um, in both major meridians. So it'd be compound myopic astigmatism, right? So I have another video that kind of goes into classification of astigmatism types. So really want to know those different things. But what I want to get to next is determining the power along other meridians, right? So it's not always going to be so cut and dry where it's like axis 180 and transposing it to axis 90. So we're going to have to know uh, this simple chart here. So I'm going to write this down. All right, so 
So what this is, is how far away you are from the prescribed axis and how much, what percentage of cylinder that's present. And you will, you will learn to love this chart because it will help you so much. So I'm going to write our prescription again. Let's do, I'm just going to write small here. Negative 2, negative 2, axis 180. So I want to kind of help you visualize this. So it says 0 degrees away from the prescribed axis, you have, this is our percentage. 0% of the cylinder is in play, right? So we know the strength on the prescribed axis is just the sphere, it's negative two, because none of that negative two cylinder um, is present on the lens. So the strength on the 180 axis, I'm gonna draw this over here, is negative two. That's our 180, right, our horizontal axis. But then I have 30 degrees away from the prescribed axis, 25% of the cylinder is present. Right, so 30 degrees away from axis 180, we would have axis 150, or we could have axis 30, because you have to think of 180 as zero, right? So, but let's just say it's axis 150. And now I have that 25% of the cylinder is present. So our cylinder in the prescription is negative two. What's 25% of negative two? That'd be negative a half, right? Because negative a half plus negative half you know, times four, you're gonna get negative two. So 25% of negative two is negative a half. So our power along the 150 axis with this example, you do negative two plus a negative a half or 25%. So it would be negative 250. Next, we see 45 degrees away from the prescribed axis. So 45 degrees away from axis 180, we would get what, axis 135? Or we could say axis 45 is, is, you know, 45 degrees away from 180 because 180 is zero again. So we have 50% of the cylinder is in play. So 50% of negative two is a negative one. So you do negative one plus your sphere would be negative three. So the power along axis 135 is negative three. So next we have um, 60 degrees away from the prescribed axis. So 60 degrees away from 180, we encounter what? Axis 120. So if the question was, what's what power is present along axis 120, right? So you'd be able to be like, well, at 60 degrees away, 60 degrees away from the prescribed axis, I know that 75% of the cylinder power is present. 75% of negative two is negative 150. And again, you know, we can think of that divided in four, it's negative a half plus negative a half plus negative a half, that 75% will be negative 150 plus negative two, so we get negative 350. So the actual power along the 120 meridian um, would be negative 350. And then lastly, we have what we would see in our transposition examples, 90 degrees away from the prescribed axis, Right, so we know all or 100% of the cylinder is present. So 90 degrees away from 180 is axis, you know, 90. All the cylinder is present. So that's negative two plus negative two, we get negative four. And if we look at our, uh, you know, lens cross here, so we'd have negative four along axis 90, our vertical, right? So then we have along axis 135, we would have negative three as the strength. But we can see, because it's a spherocylindrical lens, how that power, which it shows our two major meridians when we transpose, you know, we have negative two and negative four as our greatest power, but that lens has everything in between. So what if we had a question that said, um, what, is the, what is the power along axis 148? Right, and it's giving us, and I'll rewrite this again, negative two minus two axis 180. Right, that could be a kind of scary, scary question. Well, we're not gonna have our count our calculators and be able to do like a tangent cosine type function here. So, but it wants to know what is what power is present along axis 148 
if this is our prescription? Well, so we can very easily kind of guesstimate that. All right, so at axis 180, the prescribed axis, we know that none of this minus two cylinder is present. So again, the power at 180 is negative two. But 180 and 148, I'm gonna guesstimate, you know, that's, that's 150 to 180, that's about 30 degrees away. It's 32 degrees away, right? But we're not gonna worry about those two degrees because it's gonna be, you know, nominal. There's not gonna be much difference. So 30 degrees away from the prescribed axis, we can look at our chart, 25% of the cylinder is present. So what's 25% of negative two? That would be negative a half. So what you have to do is add that negative a half to your sphere power and you get negative 250. So the approximate power along axis 148 is negative 250. So it's a really useful skill to have. Um, you wanna just memorize your chart and kind of play with it, um, but know when you're transposing, what you're doing is you're actually finding, you know, well, you're finding the two major meridians, the two major powers, but know that you're actually finding, you know, on that, that lens plane, that contact lens or that eyeglass lens, you're finding the power that is at that meridian. So it's, it's more to it than just being able to put something in minus cylinder form. This way you can actually visualize what you're doing. So I hope that's helpful. If it has been helpful, please just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to produce uh, new content every week. I love your comments. Um, if you have a topic that you want me to cover, just go ahead and, and, and shoot a message or you know, post it under the video and I'll be, I'll be sure to reply and hopefully be able to put out a video for you. Thank you all.